What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a veterinarian? That's no, right. No, I'm going to be a number checker. What's a number checker? Do you know? Yeah, it's where you get to draw numbers blood and make them feel better. Draw numbers blood and make them feel better. Are you seeing a lot of numbers right now? Yeah. Where are they and what are they doing? Two tens. The real ten and, and the regular ten. Sometimes I wonder, is she seeing stuff and that it really is there, it's just we're not seeing it? Is that what's happening, Jenny? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My two hopes for Jenny are very simple. I want her to be alive, and I want her to be able to find moments of happiness in the day. Even if every day isn't always happy, that she can find some happiness. That's, that's it, that's all, that's all I want from her. So if daddy ever comes. No, daddy's gonna take a break right now, so I'm staff, okay? What do you know of schizophrenia? If it makes you have imaginary friends. It makes you have imaginary friends. Are you schizophrenic? Do you know? I think I am schizophrenic. Uh, as a baby, she never slept, and that's, uh, it's, as I always say, it's not hyperbole. She literally would not sleep. She would do 20, 30 minute power naps 24 hours a day. So as a newborn, she was getting two, three hours of sleep a day. Otherwise, she'd just scream until we one day figured out that when we stepped outside, she stopped screaming. We went back in, she started screaming again. By three months, we were taking her out all day every day. And we did this for two years straight. One place wasn't enough. It's like her mind was a sponge. We'd go somewhere, she'd absorb it, she'd grow bored with it, and then we'd have to move on to the next place. So we might go to the zoo, a play area, and Barnes and Noble play area all in the same day. At two, she started to talk about what she, what we thought were imaginary friends. Why? The first one to appear was 400 the cat, and she would just play with 400. We didn't think too much of it. Oh, I know what she needs. You need a Thorazine, Jenny. The medication, uh, the Thorazine, for every delusion that the Thorazine kills, another one comes to take its place. And Jenny's unwilling to let go of the good ones because they're her friends. She had always been very, very social because, of course, we were out all the time. But then, right around her third birthday, she started to become antisocial. She would scream at people if they called her January. She would tell her friends that she didn't want to play with them anymore. At one point, she had probably as many as 20 or 30 friends, and, and they just you know, slowly all dropped away. And the number of imaginary friends kept growing and growing and growing. And then, at five, the violence began. She began hitting, kicking, biting, throwing shoes. When I would say that she would hit, these weren't like tantrums. The impact of her blows was like she was fighting for her life. And there was no warning. One moment she's like, you know, I love you, Daddy. And then all of a sudden, she is literally trying to scratch my eyes out. She would be like that for 10 or 15 minutes, and then she'd come, come down after. Slowly became obvious, but not till she went into UCLA, that she was disassociating from those violent moments. This is Miss 60. And really didn't remember them. She knew that she'd done something wrong, but she didn't know what. She was uh, five years old, and he was born and she was running around the hospital going nuts before any medication, I grabbed her. I just grabbed her and put her on my lap. And she turned to somebody who was not there and said, ooh, she's not pregnant anymore, in that kind of a voice. And it kind of freaked me out. I'd never heard her talk like that. I'd never heard her talk specifically to like somebody else. We knew she had all the imaginary friends, but it didn't quite it started to sort of add up, basically, but um, we did take her to a psychologist because I, we, we, it got to the point where we couldn't live with her. Hey, right, sweetie, how are you doing? Hmm? How are you doing? You ready to go swimming? Now in 
buddy. <laughs> do you do you think you see your friends more now or less since you went to the hospital? More. More? Yeah, more. Because Thorzine's not helping very much. Do you want them to go away? 400 I do and Wednesday I do because they're bad. How are they bad? They tell me to do bad things. What kind of bad things? Like hitting and screaming and kicking. What does it feel like when, when Wednesday tells you to hit or kick? Wednesday bites me until I do it. Okay, and what, and what does 400 do? She scratches. She scratches. Because she doesn't know how to hit. So originally, we had a two-bedroom apartment in this complex. Keeping Jenny from hurting Bodie was a 24-hour-a-day job. So we traded in our two-bedroom for two one-bedroom apartments. Jenny's apartment is in this building, and then right across the parking lot, about 100 feet away on the third floor, is Bodie's apartment. I mean, financially, it's been harder because the two put together are still $500 more than what I was paying for the two bedroom. When Susan and I were uh, living in, in the same apartment, it, it felt more like we were in this together. You know, si since we've, uh, you know, been in a separate apartments, you know, I feel like we are not as close anymore and that leads us it leads us to attacking each other more, blaming each other more. It's because we have no one else to, 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 to blame, you know. Both of us are under such immense stress at, at all times. You know, I, I wish she could have had more of a, of, of a childhood than she has had, but the, you know, her illness took that from her. You have to think about it like you have this this sweet blonde normal looking six-year-old girl But there are all these characters that are out to get her and As long as she is occupied They say it back It's this is never gonna be over. I mean this this is a lifetime illness for her 